Okay, today we're in a brand new Land Rover Range Rover Sport and we'll be illustrating just how easy it is to attach the Pro Clip center mount for this vehicle. Okay, there's a couple things we want to mention about this mount before we get started. Uh, first of all, read over the instructions, look over the photos, try to become familiar with the process before starting. Uh, next is, always attach the Pro Clip onto the vehicle prior to attaching anything on the faceplate of the mount. And lastly, this Pro Clip comes with some double-sided tape. You'll see it here as the red sheet. Remove the covering from the tape. The uh, residue from the tape will not stay on the vehicle if you ever want to remove the mount later on down the line. And with that said, we'll get started. On the lower side of the Pro Clip, there's an S-shaped angled edge, a very sturdy edge. And on the upper side, there's a notched out edge. To begin with, that lower S-shaped angled edge will go into a seam. There's a padded part of the dash and a vent area. Between those two elements, there is a, a seam or a gap. That lower shaped angled edge will slide right into that seam as such. Next is a little trickier. The upper part will go into, there's a, a gap between the padded part of the upper dash and the frame that goes around the vent area. That part of the pro clip will slide right into that seam. Now we're not going to remove the tape uh, on this one here because we'll be taking them out right back off. But you'll take the pro clip and press it or flex it downwards, the top part downwards, so it lines up with that seam and then press it back into the seam. Just like that. Once it's attached, you'll have a nice solid mounting platform to attach a Pro Clip device holder onto. We hope this illustration helps. Have a great day.